What's up my beautiful people? My name is Carl Joseph and Kesi and you are welcome. Actually I'm coming live from Poma Bay County. This is one of the villages here. And it's actually in town but it's based in Poma Bay. Actually a place known as Nandiwa. And I'm coming live from this small restaurant of ours here. It's just like, what I say a restaurant because we do sell some small meat like these chips. And this is how we are preparing these chips. Yes guys, and if it's your very first time here guys, kindly consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And much thanks for my channel subscribers for always coming back to support this video. Thank you, thank you so much. So today and I have my best friend here. Maybe you wanna say hi. 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 Yes, he owns your name. <laughs> yes, he's Godfrey Muita. Yes, he's Godfrey Muita and he's the owner of his so today we want to show you how we prepare these meat and what are some of the ingredients that we are going to use but with me here I have these ingredients you know like we have uh, garlic no this is not garlic but ginger you want to see how it is you know this is ginger and we have here what we call this this is called uh, piri piri poho I don't know how it's called it's called pepper I don't know Yes, pepper, pepper, whichever, but this is edible, you know, it's not that big, it's not that big, like, bitter, but it's actually good. And we have a tomato here, you know, we have another ingredient that's called bulb onion, yes, this is bulbous onion. And let me know in the comment section if these bulb onions do exist back in your villages or back in your countries. And right here, we have so many ingredients in Swahili, we have iliki. Iliki, let me know in the comment section how do you call it Iliki in your villages or back in your countries. And right here we have garlic, yes. Let me show you how garlic looks like guys and I wanna know how like how do you do this back in your villages? Yes. This one, yes. Yes, guys, this is what we call the garlic. Yes, kitungu sound it's kinda small, yes. And right here we have for us to prepare the the sweetest sweetest mishikaki like mishikaki is small meat cut into small pieces and actually actually uh, like roasted on uh, what we call uh, on a jiko and this we have with the food color you know it's the food color yes there's so many of them like this one here for it to change the color to be in this form to be in this form. We use this food color and we mix ginger. Let me know in the comment section how how you are debating about this. And after that, we have what we call the the carrot, you know, the carrot to make it spicy, you know, very sweet. We wanna use these ingredients. And guys, this is how we prepare this. So stay tuned and enjoy this vlog from the village. Yes. Yes, guys, and now after we have cut this small into small pieces, you know, into small pieces, into the size of the pieces, you know, we use these small what we call spokes. Actually, here in the village, we call them spokes. These are used like if you have seen a bicycle, you know, a bicycle, those spokes that are inside that uh, wheel. Yes, then we are we sharpen them to this place, you know. This is how they are being sharpened, and now these are being used to. Like when they are being sharpened this way, then we chop this meat into this this way, you know. Yes. Let me know in the comment section if this is being done back in your village. Yes, you know, I'm super excited, you know. Yes, for my subscribers, keep on subscribing, you know, and if you are new, because that's the best way to support this village boy, you know. Yes, guys, and we're gonna see there's so many meat, you know. This is how you see, you know. A lot of meat and this is how they look like guys you know you want to be preparing them to these plates you know guys yeah so stay tuned and enjoy actually this is how we do to earn a living here in, in our villages actually you know yes we sell meat this small meat you know yes. and one spoke like one spoke this will goes at 10 shillings that's 0 0.01 dollars you know yes this is how we do it guys joe look at these guys 
it's really really amazing and really good let me know in the comment section if you do do this back in your villages or back in your streets you know yes actually this is street foods street foods you know you are preparing them then after this you want to roast them and maybe sell them you know yes look look at them guys yes really amazing yes and right this place here you see this is how we prepare them you know this is where we prepare them from at this from this place so i want to be taking these yes i want to be taking these ones you know and this is how we prepare it you want to say hi say hi yes this is how we prepare it you know guys We, we, we bought meat, we cut it in small pieces, then we roast them to these small jig of ours, then we wanna resell them, you know? Yes. Yes, as you have seen here guys, this is how we do it. And I have a specialist of roasting these uh, street meat, they're so yummy. You wanna see how it is, guys? Yes. 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 And already here we have another one, so we are putting here before we put them fire. Yes. And this is how we roast these. Let me know in the comment section if you do do this back in your villages or back in your countries. All first down and go in case you find about to make from the gun. Yes guys, like he has a five year experience of roasting these street meat, you know. Yes, now I tell you fresh. Yes. Now una changa moto dozote. Changa moto dozote kwa kwenye kazi. Kama wakati wa corona muda unajua muda wa kulika hizi zinalika kioni kioni. Yes, guys. Yes, and guys, the like the, the challenges here is that if you know these these street meats are being eaten. You know when people just now from job. You know. And uh, boys, you know, at the, the, during the day, you know, at evening, you know, and now, you know, in Kenya, we have what we call curfew time, and curfew time has now hindered his work, you know, because during uh, the, the evening time is when now everyone, you know, around around 7 p.m. or to 8, you know, or from 6 from 6 p.m. to to seven that's the time now when these things are very edible you know and now the government is so guys these are ready you know and now the government has scheduled it to seven due to curfew time and now these are some of the challenges guys yes and you wanna see these are now ready Here we have salt. This is what we call salt, you know. It's really, really sweet and yummy. Very yummy, you know, guys. Very sweet indeed. Mm. Take enjoy. Take enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. Take 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 enjoy. Mm. So guys, we have what we call ginger inside here. We have that taste of ginger, you know, some garlic. Very yummy. Let me know in the comment section if such, if such street food do exist back in your villages or back in your countries. Mm. It's really amazing. Yummy, yummy. Yes. But now, guys, we have seen you have come to the end of this video. And if it's your very first time. Can you consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video? Yes, remember to subscribe. Yes, guys, and let me know in the comment section if this 
things do exist back in the villages or back in the country. 